Beans are by far my favorite thing to grow in containers or in the backyard garden. These are pole beans, which means they're going to climb up these bamboo stalks. The, the breed is called Kentucky Wonder. They're very prolific, and they really have never let me down, ever. And at the end of the season, I'm going to be canning these things. So you can see all the bamboo poles I have sticking out of the containers. And then I'm going to attach strings, which I'll show you later, that will go up to this trellis. And they're going to cover that entire trellis with beans. You'll see in just a couple of months. Now, um, I talked to you in the episode number one about pollinators. Well, with those come maintenance. So this is uh, my wife's purple daisies. And you can see they're pretty sad looking. So I'm going to be pretty aggressive and trim them way back. So I'm going to get rid of all of the uh, dead or half dead um, flowers. And this will spark new growth. So don't be embarrassed. Don't be uh, shy about it. Get in there and I'm going to cut them all out. Every last one of them. And then in a couple weeks, they'll be brand new ones. And these things really do attract the bees and pollinators. Same thing with these pansies. When they start looking limp and all not pretty, cut them out. These things are going to grow all summer long. So it's just a little daily maintenance. Not daily, but you know, twice a week that you need to do. Plus it makes everything look nice, nice and healthy. So you can see here, this is the aftermath. I'm picking up my waist. So uh, my wife wanted to show this cactus. We have this purple cactus, and it's getting ready to bloom. I'm hoping that today's the day, and if it does, I'll put a picture at the end of this video. So let's have a look at other things. So you can see how well they've grown. In that bottom pot was carrots. Here's thyme. It's still alive. And then I'm moving these guys because they're a month old and they're not doing much. Here's my uh, Japanese maple and then there's some Japanese looking lantern flowers that I thought were pretty cool. So I put them in there. This is a Rosa Sharon. It's my wife's favorite bush. It'll get 10 feet tall and in July be covered in flowers. Here's some more of my babies. Hey babies. Green beans. Love them. This is carrots. Remember I spread those out and planted them like a month ago. And I'm going to start thinning them sooner than later. They're pretty thick now, but that's okay. Now, this is another one I grew from seed. It's a Thai chili pepper. Super slow growing, but at the end of the summer, it's going to be loaded with them. Now, check this out. I've been fertilizing. These are my peppers. These are red, green, and yellow right there. And then the second pot over is jalapenos. These things have um, just skyrocketed. And as you can see, I, have to, I need to deadhead some of these petunias, which, again, companion planting, petunias and peppers, they go together well. Here's garlic. If you recall, I uh, planted garlic in some of these pots, and that is also to help keep away pests. They don't like the smell. There's another one. Moving on. Oh, these are my uh, hot, hot ones. This is um, oregano, oregano and parsley. And check out these big old beauties. These are Black Beauty eggplants. We're going to make some Parmesan with these bad boys. They are loving where they're at. Here's Rosemary. She's looking pretty good. And then Tarragon. You know that difficult one? We're going to see what it does. It's not doing much at the moment, but we'll see. This is mint. And again, keep it in a container. This is dill and coriander or whatever you call it. Cilantro. Look at that sage. Mm -mm -mm. Purple basil. Just a little update. Green basil. I planted all of my basils. And there's those two wheat tomatoes. They're starting to slightly turn. Looking forward to new ones. Remember that sad sack of a tomato? Look at it now. It's really bounced back. I mean, it has blooms. It's doing really well. Now down here, we're going to continue our maintenance with getting rid of more suckers. These little branches. You can see them. And remember, they grow between the stalk and the leaf. They are no good, no bueno. Pinch them right off. Pinch. See ya, sucker. So now we're going to continue on and we're going to trellis. You, you know I have all these bamboo sticks hanging up. So I've already tied off a couple and I'm just going to trim off the excess string here. You can see the string there. And I did it between two poles and I put the plants in the middle. Here's a better view. 
that's going to keep him from going side to side or back and forth. It's just going to hold him in place gently without um, hurting the stalks. So here we are back to some of our pollinators and I've attached the string. You can see now where it's going to go. That string, those Kentucky Wonder pole beans are going to climb right up there. I can't wait to show you in just a few weeks. Of course, here's my dog Gator. He's loving it. He thinks he's a king. Just a relaxing Sunday morning in the backyard garden. Here's a little fountain. <clears throat> This thing I bought for my wife because she wanted a water feature back here, so it's just a pot. Put some rocks in it, and it's solar. So as soon as the sun is blocked from it, it turns right off. It's the coolest thing. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you in the garden update. Well, guess what? It opened up. Look at that. Is that not cool? Who knew? We had no idea that this thing could even flower. All kinds of colors in there. Hey, if you think this video has brought you any kind of value at all, please give me a thumbs up. Also, um, think about subscribing to the channel. Let's grow this garden together. I'm excited to show you the beans in a couple weeks. So we're going to start our fertilization regimen of every two weeks. We're going to fertilize with a seaweed solution. So, that'll be our next video. We'll see you at episode 6.